Hey guys, my name is William, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about Shine Ranker, put up by Chase Rainer versus Keyword Supremacy or Zaju, put up by Herc Magnus. I've had a lot of my GME pros asking me to do this, and I've been kind of you know, not wanting to do it, don't want to do it, don't want to do it. And then I said, okay, I'll do it for my GME pros because they want to see what's the difference between Chase Rainer's tool, Shine Ranker, versus what I use, which is going to be a Zaju and Keyword Supremacy which is a powerful one-two punch. But let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go over the tool and show you the differences between the two, and you can make a decision for yourself. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, if you don't, if you're unaware of what this tool really does i would tell you what you need to get used to is something called we call all in title right all in title is basically used for, for keyword golden ratio right keyword golden ratio being what is the sweet spot what is the sweet spot so the sweet spot being the area between really hard and really easy and there's this little sweet spot in which we get in it's easy to get keywords ranked for, it's easy to siphon and still traffic, but yet at the same point, I also get really good results for my clients. So that's what this essentially does, this tool. All in title, semicolon, quote, quote. You would put your keyword in between here. You can do this manually without ever having to do anything. And how would I do that? Literally go over here, if you wanted to do it manually, Go over to Google, type in whatever keyword you're wanting to look for. And of course, it's going to block me right now, but I just said, I'm not a robot, and it gives me access to it. But So if I want keyword, or let's say roof, repair, Miami, whatever you want to look for, you know, and it will tell you if someone is actually competing for that term. You got 497 people, so this is a difficult term. Leave it the hell alone, right? That's a manual way of doing it. Or you could also go, let's say, all in phrase. And it will tell you, is the phrase mentioned? You know, um, we could do all types of things. So, okay. All in title is essentially what it does. Now it automates it for you, so it makes it a lot easier to do. So what we're gonna do, we typed in metal roofing or roofing repair near me. We want, and then what it does is when we do our keyword research with this nice little button over here that Chase has put in here, I can enter in the keyword. I can then go in here. Let's see if I can organize the difficulty. That's one thing right off the bat. I don't know why you have all these blanks in here. Um, I don't know what the purpose for that is, but I'm trying to sort easy from hard and then we get a bunch of blanks. So that right off the bat, I don't understand it, don't like it, um, that part of it. But now we get all these easy ones. If I wanted to choose, let's say flat roofing companies near me, I'd have to go over to GoDaddy or whatever, enter in the term. Is it available? What do you know? It's available. So I can purchase it and now I can make all my content on that website about that term and I can easily get ranked for it and start siphoning and stealing traffic and getting traffic easily nice right and the other thing you can do you can check traffic i could check how much traffic someone gets let's just enter in this term and see okay let's see what this guy this guy's in hawaii so let's see how much traffic this guy gets All right enter in the url we enter in that url it's going to then pull the traffic show you what keywords all that stuff what the average cost per click is i what is it value at and it's showing you all these different keywords that the guy's ranking for. And I can then go in there and try to steal their traffic. I can then go in there and try to outrank them. I can also use this information and go, okay, let me look at their page structure for these pages, okay? That's the next thing I do. Now, if I already have this domain and I want to compare myself to competition, I can go over here and hit enter in my URL versus their URL and check it. One other really cool thing I can do is I could take this and I go into Chase's tool Shine Ranker and I can do a Shine Audit. And I can enter in the website link for an analysis. Let's say this one. 
and then it's going to come back and it's going to crawl the website and do an SEO audit. If you've watched any of my local SEO audit tools, you know I don't use ShineRanker. I use another tool put out by Link Assistant in which I can print off white label, very pretty, if you will, PDFs and send those over to my clients or send them over to agencies in which they can then send them to their own clients with their own logo on it. So it's really killer. I love how the PDF does. Let's see how Chase's tool holds up to that. Um, he has all the green and the red. Chase does that a lot. Um, color codes a lot of things on Excel sheets. So that's cool. Now let's see how it looks if I try to export this as an Excel document. So we want to see, does this look color coded? Because I want to send a client. Awesome. I can tell the client, hey, greens are good, reds are bad. I just need to fix all the reds. All right. But for the most part, any of y'all been actually dealing with clients, any of us actual agency owners in the trenches will know straight up off the bat that Excel sheet is shit. Because what's going to happen is these clients are going to come back and be like, well, I don't know what all this shit means. What's this? What's an H1? What's internal linking? Most of them don't even know that stuff. So if I send them that Excel sheet and it's not explaining any of it, it's not going to help me any. If I hit PDF, let's see what the PDF will look like. Interested in that? So yeah, this, this is not going to be good for a client at all if you go to send this to them. Now, I could do this same audit tool, and I've used this, if, if you will, on my website auditor. This is what I normally do my audits with. So if I pull this audit, you know, I'm gonna see if I can run it while I'm trying to do this. It would put this out in a PDF. It's very legible, you print it out. And this is what I personally would say is missing heavily from this tool. Um, because whenever you go here and you try to send this over as white labeled, or if you try to send this over to a client, most of them would be dumbfounded and don't know what the hell any of it means. Now, with this PDF, I can send it to an agency. They can white label it. Besides white labeling, it then, then tells them exactly what is wrong and it tells them how to fix it. And if they click on any of the links, it then takes them immediately to it so they can fix it. Better yet, whenever, you know, let's go ahead and stop this or close this so we can stop it real quick, uh, cancel it. But if we wanted to make this into a report, you see all this nice, pretty, and it's laid out. I can give them a summary or I can give them details. And they can literally click on it and it literally tells them what is wrong. What is an XML file? What is resources restricted from being an index? It gives an explainer and then tells them how to fix it. And I can print this out rather easy. So that's one thing I would say that he's definitely missing from that little tool of his. But let's anything else on here we're not missing anything i can do you know traffic checking keyword basic research and then an audit so now let's go over to azagio not azagio but azagio is put up by the same tool which is keyword supremacy now let's say i go into keyword keyword supremacy i enter in a keyword and let's just say for example i'm looking for easy keywords one cool thing I like about Azagio or Keyword Supremacy, both tools go hand in hand. If I was to click on the world, that shows me is the domain available. I don't even have to leave the platform and it already tells me, okay, the domain's available and you can go and get it. I literally click on it, it opens up a separate window and I can then buy it, right? Which is awesome. So that's one thing. Now, if I want to look at, okay, what are the Google Trends? I hit Google Trends, it goes and pulls the data, and it shows me, is there any trends for that specific keyword, which is awesome, without leaving the platform. If I click on the Google sign, it then opens up, like we were talking about earlier, in URL. In other words, is this keyword in the competition's URL? Only six people, so I know it's really not that competitive. Then I can look at the end title. Okay, in title. How many websites have that exact phrase in the title? Only seven. Once again, shows me really easy. How many are actually using this specific keyword, going after this specific keyword? One, which means it's extremely easy to go after, but there's 5.2 million websites out there with it. So I can go in there and grab that keyword and then buy that domain name, create all the content on it, and easily, easily rank it. So that's why I personally like keyword supremacy. 
If you want to know more about Azagio, go to one of my other videos and I definitely talk about it over and over again. Once again, my name is William and in today's video we did a review of Shine Ranker put out by Chase Rayner. If you have any questions, make sure to comment below if there's any other tools you'd like for me to audit and review for you. Put those in the comments below and I'll do that for you. Until next time, you guys be blessed and have a great day. So many SEOs that hate me and say that I'm still in their methods. They bitching and cry, labeling me SEO Black Hatter was a nobody. Now I'm at the top. Most wanted, most loved, bad business owners, and hated by most SEO opponents. You think